Hello and welcome to Balance Online. <laughs> My name is Tim. I'll be teaching this online class for you today. I see we have somebody joining us live. Welcome. <laughs> and for the rest who are doing this class later, welcome as well. Uh, so today we're going to be doing a class that will prepare the body to eventually go into our tripod headstand. So the posture breakdown we do after this one will cover tripod headstand. A tripod headstand requires a lot of strength uh, in the upper body, but also a lot in the core and in the hip flexor. So we're going to be focusing on strengthening those. All right, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenging class, but hopefully those muscles are going to feel nice and warm <laughs> after we finish. So uh, let's just first get started by taking a comfortable seat on the mat in whatever place you decided to do your practice today. Get nice and comfortable. Roll the shoulders up and back a couple of times. And then end with your chest open, eyes closed. And we just take a couple moments to arrive here. Arriving on our mats. Welcome. <laughs> Another person joining us live. So take a moment with your eyes closed to observe your body this morning or this afternoon or this evening, depending on when you do this class. How is your body feeling? How much energy do you have today? Or how little? Do you feel any spots in your body where you might feel things like tension or soreness or aches? But also, where do you feel a little bit more relaxed, maybe a little bit stronger, maybe a little, a little more open. Just checking in with whatever physical sensations you feel. We take a moment as well to observe our thoughts, so the mind and our heart, our emotions. What are you thinking about? And how are you feeling? All right, from there we start to observe our breathing. So start to take some deeper inhales in through the nose. Nice long exhales out through the nose as well. Every inhale a little bit deeper. Every exhale a little bit longer. Arriving at a comfortable and steady breathing rhythm. Now from there we bring the hands together in front of the chest. We bow our heads in towards the hands. Just first take a moment to say thank you to yourself for taking the time to come onto your mat today. First victory of the day already. And then maybe take a moment to set an intention for your practice today. Make it something personal to you. Now, once we set this intention, we bring the hands towards the knees. And take a nice deep inhale into the nose. And out through the mouth. Good. All right. Now gently blink over the eyes. Bring your hands out in front of you, spread your fingers nice and wide, and then make a fist. Spread the fingers, make a fist. Spread the fingers, make a fist. We keep doing this over and over. Now while we do this, we're going to bring the arms out to the side, and then bring them up. And then out to the side, and then back forward. We're going to repeat this a couple of times until those forearms start to cramp a little. <laughs> out to the side, up, back down, and back forward. One more, out to the side. Ooh, starting to burn a little. <laughs> Going up, out to the side, and back forward. Good, shake them out. All right, now we roll forward into a tabletop position. Now bring both knees together, and then bring your hips down towards your heels for a child's pose, but with the knees together. We're gonna use this as a starting point. 
So as we inhale, we're going to start to slide forward, the chin just above the mat. As your chin passes your thumbs, you're going to push into the hands. We lift into Cobra, lifting up the chest. And then from there, with the chin towards the chest, with a round spine, we go back to child's pose. So this is the movement, and we're going to repeat this about three more times. Try to make it fluent, so as if you're like water. So inhale, we slide forward into Cobra. Exhale, chin to chest, rounding back to child's pose. Let's do two more. Inhale, we slide forward. Exhale, chin to chest, round spine back to child's pose. One more. Inhale, sliding forward. Exhale, chin to chest, round spine back to child's pose. Now bring the toes into the mat. Start to strain the legs, lifting up those hips, going into our downward facing dog. Now, first downward facing dog, take a moment to just check out how it feels today. So maybe you want to have those heels come up and down a little bit. You walk your dog, as they call it. Maybe uh, the hips a little bit from left to right. Just kind of noticing where in that body you feel tense or sore. I feel quite sore today. <laughs> so I'm definitely feeling that right now. <sighs> Good. Now again. We're going to do this in fluid motions. As we inhale, we're going to lift up the heels. We're going to wave forward into our high plank. And then from there, bend your knees. And you flow back into your downward facing duck. Repeating this about three more times. So as we inhale, we lift up the heels, waving forward till you're in your high plank. Now, bending the knees, bring the hips back to downward facing duck. Now I do two more times and try to find your own rhythm to it. So wave forward, high plank, and then to down dog. And then one more waving forward to high plank, and then back to downward facing dog. All right, now, look in between your hands. We wanna to try to keep the legs and the arms as straight as we can for as long as we can. And then on the toes, we're gonna to start to tiptoe forward. You're gonna feel those hips start to come up. Now, you might get stuck at some point <laughs> where you can't get any further. If you need to bend your knees, bend your knees to do the last few steps. All right, we try that one more time. So we first walk back, hands flat. Try it with the legs straight. So on your toes, tiptoe back. Back to your downward facing dog. Good, and now we walk forward again, so see if you can keep your legs straight as long as you can. Tiptoe forward, step by step, until the feet arrive in between the hands. Good. Last few steps are always a little bit awkward here. <laughs> now, as we inhale, we're going to lift up halfway, create a flat back, open up the chest, and exhale, we fold forward. Now slide bend to the knees, and as we inhale, we're going to roll up to standing. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Your head comes up. Roll your shoulders up, back, and then down. And we arrive here in our mountain pose. Feet about hip width distance apart. Arms next to your body. Chest open. Chin is lifted. We come back to our breath. So take those deep inhales and exhales again. Find your rhythm. And here we go, sun salutation. So as we inhale, we're gonna reach those arms up overhead, hands together, looking up. As we exhale from the hips, we dive down, forward fold. Fingers to the toes, or as close as you can get. Inhale, halfway lift. <laughs> exhale, hands down. Place your right foot back in a low lunge. So the right foot steps back. We wanna to try to have the left knee over the left ankle, and we try to push that right heel a little bit more to the back, so we lengthen that back leg. Now you can support yourself on your fingertips. Maybe you can get the hands flat. All right, now hands down, and as we inhale, pick up that left foot, step it back to your high plank. Now here we want to have the shoulders over the wrists, and we want to keep pushing away from the ground. So we're not trying to hang in the shoulders and in the lower back. We want to push ourselves up. If you're feeling your core engaging, <laughs> you're in the right spot. If you're feeling your lower back, you got to get the hips a little bit higher. Keep taking breaths. Now, first chaturanga we'll do on the knees. So bring your knees down, lean a little bit forward, 
Bend your elbows, lower down about halfway, chaturanga. Inhale to cobra, or maybe lifting the hips and legs off the mat for your upward facing dog. And then exhale, find your way back to downward facing dog. Good. Now, as we inhale, we're gonna reach the right leg up into the sky, down dog splits, and exhale, step it forward next to the right thumb. Inhale, left foot forward, come halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up to standing, reach those arms up overhead, hands together, and as we exhale, we dive right back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, left foot back. Low lunge on the other side. So starting off relatively easy, relatively basic, just to get the body a little bit warm. Right knee over the ankle, left heel pushing back, lengthen that back leg. Now hands down, inhale, right foot back, high plank. Keep active here, keep breathing, keep pushing yourself away from the ground. All right, now if you want to keep bringing your knees down for your chaturanga, feel free to do so. Otherwise, try a full chaturanga. Keep those legs straight. Exhale, come down. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale to downward facing dog. Now as we inhale, lift the left leg up into the sky. Down dog splits. And exhale, step it forward next to the left up. Inhale, right foot forward, come halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up to standing, reach those arms up overhead, hands together. And exhale, dive back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step your right foot back. Now, right hand is flat down on the mat, and inhale, lift your left arm up, and we twist. Looking up towards the left thumb. Try to keep your legs the same way as they were. As you exhale, left hand comes down. In up, pick up the left foot, step back, high plank. All right, now this time we're gonna challenge that high plank a little bit. We're gonna come down about halfway and we hold there, okay? So exhale, chaturanga, hold halfway. Keep those elbows tucked in. You can do it on the knees if you need to. Keep breathing. Hold. Now lower down the rest of the way, nice and slow. And inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Good. All right, now this next one is more about actually trying to do it rather than being able to do it. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a moment. So as we inhale, we're gonna reach the right leg up. Down dog splits. Now we keep the leg straight, we swing the right leg out to the side, and we try to tap the right wrist with the big toe, with the leg straight. Notice how I say try? <laughs> you might make it, you might not. It's not the point to make it. Now as we inhale, we reach the right leg back up, three-legged dog, and then exhale, step it forward next to the right thumb. Now bring your left knee down, reach those arms up for a low lunge, and then from there, as we exhale, we're gonna lift up the left knee, we lean forward, and those arms follow your left leg. So you point them out behind you. So I call this the diagonal lunge, because if you look from the side, there should be a nice, beautiful diagonal line from your heel all the way to the crown of your head. And yes, you should be feeling this in your right thigh. Good, now one more inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands down next to the right foot. Inhale, left foot forward, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up to standing. Reach those arms up overhead, hands together. And exhale, we dive back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, left foot back. Low lunge, good. Left hand down on the mat. Inhale, right arm up for a twist. Looking up towards that right thumb. As we exhale, right hand comes down. Inhale, step that right foot back, high plank. All right, we try again to hold halfway. Again, you can do this on the knees. Exhale, chaturanga, hold halfway. 
Keep that core engaged. Squeeze your glutes. Breathe. Hold. Now lower down the rest of the way. And inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. So this is a great way to build up some strength, to hold that descent, to fight gravity. All right, now as you inhale, lift the left leg up into the sky. And exhale, swing the leg out to the side. Try to keep the leg straight. Try to tap your left wrist with your big toe. And inhale, swing it back up. And exhale, step it forward next to the left thumb. Place it down. Bring your right knee down. Inhale, reach those arms up. And as we exhale, lift up that right knee. Lean forward. Arms come back. Again, that diagonal lunge. So this one brings a little bit more pressure, a little bit more weight onto that left leg than a high lunge. This is a good one to strengthen your quadriceps, your glutes as well. Keep breathing. Now in out, raise those arms up. And exhale, hands down next to the left foot. In out, right foot forward, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up to standing. Reach those arms up overhead, hands together. And exhale, we dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Now exhale, hands down, step both feet back, high plank. All right, so this time we're gonna do the same hold, but at the bottom position. So as we exhale, chaturanga, hold at the bottom, just above the mat. Keep those elbows tucked in, core engaged, breathe. Breathe. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale to downward facing dog. Well done. On your inhale, we reach the right leg up into the sky, down dog splits. As you exhale, swing the leg out to the side. Try to tap your right wrist. Inhale, swing it back up. Now exhale, we try to tap the left wrist. So bring your leg through. Try to tap the left wrist. Inhale, swing it back up. And exhale, step it forward next to the right thumb. Place it down. Inhale, we come up to our high lunge this time. Now this time we are having the upper body straight. The right knee is bent, the left leg is out behind us. Arms are up, but try to keep your shoulders relatively relaxed. Now if you're feeling a little bit wobbly today, step your feet a little bit wider. This will give you a little bit more of a wider base. And we should just be able to kind of bounce around comfortably without losing our balance. Good, maybe sinking a little bit lower. Now, deep inhale. And exhale, hands down next to the right foot. Inhale, left foot forward, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up to standing. Raise those arms up, overhead, hands together. And exhale, diving down, forward fold, one more round. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, both feet back, high plank. On your exhale, chaturanga, hold at the bottom. Breathe, hold, resist. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale to downward. Facing dog, well done. All right, as you inhale, lift the left leg up into the sky, down dog splits, and exhale, swing the leg out to the side, try to tap your left wrist. Inhale, swing it back up. Exhale, try to tap the right wrist. Inhale, swing it back up. And exhale, step it forward next to the left thumb. Inhale, come up, high lunge. Arms up, shoulders relaxed. Again, finding that stable position where you could just kind of bounce, maybe sway a little, maybe do a little dance in your living room. <laughs> Let's see how it feels to move. Maybe sing it a little bit lower if you want a little bit more tension on those muscles in the legs. But make sure you keep breathing. Now one more deep inhale. And exhale, hands down next to the left foot. 
Inhale, right foot forward, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up to standing. Raise those arms up overhead, hands together. And this time, exhale, bring the hands next to your body. Shake the shoulders loose a little bit. Take a moment to come back to your breath. So a little halfway mark here. We take a moment to catch our breath again, to find that rhythm before we continue with some standing postures. So maybe with your eyes open, maybe with your eyes closed, slow it down. And breathe. All right. Now, gently blink open your eyes. Now, try to have your feet about hip width distance apart. We take a nice inhale. As we exhale, we're going to bend the knees. We drop the hips, and you reach your arms up for chair pose. However, we're going to continue down. So as we exhale, we're going to lower down the hips even more. At some point, your heels are going to lift up, and we balance on the toes. OK? Now, we want to bring the knees down on the mat in front of us, but we don't just want to slam them down. We want to land softly to protect those knees. So what we're going to do, we're going to lean back, bring some counterweight so that those knees can just softly come down. Good. Now, we want to go back to that chair pose. We're going to do it again using counterweight. So we're going to lean back with the upper body. Those knees lift up at some point. Then we can bring the heels back down and we lift back up into chair pose. Now, try not to swing back too fast because you're just going to roll over your heels onto your butt. <laughs> it's happened to me. Now, one, two more times. So as we exhale, we lower down. Those heels lift up on the toes. Lean back. Softly bring the knees down. <laughs> That's it. Now, go back to chair pose. So lean back. Knees come up. Heels come down. Chair pose. <laughs> That's it. Now, one more. Lower down. Heels come up. Lean back. Knees down. Chair pose. We go back. Heels down into our chair pose. Good. Now, in chair pose, step the feet wider. <laughs> and exhale. We squat down into our squat all the way down. Good. So maybe you can bring your heels down. Maybe you need to stay a little bit on the toes, depending on your hip mobility. So exercises like this should help get those hips a little bit more open. Now, we try to get the left knee, I'll mirror you, the left knee towards the right big toe. So maybe with, maybe without hands, we twist. We try to tap the toe. Get as close as you can. You don't actually have to touch it. Now come back to the center. Try the other side. Good. Back to the center. One more time. Other side. Good. Back to the middle. And then other side. Last one. Good. Now back to center. From here, as we inhale, we're going to lift up those heels again. We come onto the toes. Open up your chest. Arms what? And as we exhale, we're going to bring the heels down. And we kind of curl into a little ball. Inhale, heels up, open up, arms out wide. Exhale, heels down, curl into a little ball. And I know those legs are probably on fire, <laughs> so one more. Heels lift up, open up, and then exhale, bring the hands down on the mat, and inhale, step back to downward facing dog. Now this should feel awesome right now. <laughs> Take a moment to stretch those hamstrings, to strain those legs. Move them around a little bit, see how that feels. After all that squatting, the legs start to get a little, <laughs> start to burn a little. Now, as we inhale, we're going to reach the right leg up into the sky, down dog splits. As you exhale, step it to the outside of the right hand. Lizard pose, setting up for a lizard pose. So, you can stay on your hands, maybe with their back knee lifted, maybe you can bring it down. This is a little bit more of a supported version. Maybe you stay on the hands. Maybe if you have the space, you can come down onto your forearms. Try not to push it, though. So if this feels too intense for the right hip, 
stay up on your hands. You don't necessarily have to go the deepest possible version. All right. Now, if you're on the hands, if you're on the forearms, sorry, come back onto the hands. Lift up your back knee. As we exhale, we're going to lower down the left ear, and maybe we can get the ear towards the ground. Try to get there. It doesn't matter if you don't, meet, don't make it. Just try to get there. <laughs> In up. We come back up. Now, pick up your right foot. Swing it out to the side. And here we are in high plank, but with that right leg lifted. Now, this is going to be a little challenge. So as we exhale, we do chaturanga with that leg lifted. Inhale, upward facing dog with leg lifted. And exhale, downward facing dog still with leg lifted. That's it. As you exhale, step that right foot forward next to the right thumb. Place it down. Now bring your left heel down 90 degrees. And then inhale, swing your left arm up and over into our warrior two. Right knee is bent, left leg out behind you. Try to have your back foot parallel with the bottom edge of your mat. Arms and shoulders in a straight line. And then you look over the fingertips of that right hand. Nice and strong and stable. Try to keep your upper body straight. So not leaning forward or back too much. All right, as you exhale, bring your right elbow onto your right knee. Your left arm swings up and over. We go to extended side angle. So we have the elbow on the knee to support. The left hand reaches in a diagonal line towards the sky. And here as well, you want to go for kind of like a diagonal line from your left foot alongside the left side of your body all the way towards your fingers. Inhale, back to our warrior two. And exhale, windmill hands down next to the right foot. Inhale, right foot back. And now exhale, bring your elbows down for dolphin pose. So the rest of your body is the same as it was in your downward facing duck. Now, elbows down, hands gripping the mat. We want to start to tiptoe forward. Now you want to, you're going to notice that your hips start to come higher especially if you keep those legs straight. That's going to be a limit to how far you can go. It's going to be different for everyone. You're going to feel that you can't go further, no matter how hard you try. When you're there, you push up out of your shoulders. We hold. And we breathe. So this is a really great one to build up some strength, which comes in handy for our tripod headstand. It's very much an upward pushing strength. So pushing over your head. We hold for two more breaths. And as we exhale, bring your knees down. Take a child's pose. Good. A couple breaths in between before we move on to the other side. Try to slow down your breath. If it's starting to speed up from all those movements. All right. Now, when you are ready for it, come back to downward facing dog. Okay, now I'll give you two ways to come back to the top of the mat. So the first one is the one we did at the beginning where we start to tiptoe forward, focusing on getting those hips up. The second one is where you use the same principle of getting the hips over your shoulders, but then you do it with a jump. Now you want to focus on getting the hips in the right position here. So forget about the feet. So look in between the hands, you bend your knees, you jump, hips come up, and then you land softly. 
That's it. So you want to have more like a high jump and then landing down rather than like a forward jump. <laughs> now inhale, we come halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Now bend your knees, drop your hips, inhale, chair pose. We do those knee drops again. So we lower down, heels lift up. Now lean back, knees come down. Now lean back, knees lift up, heels come down, chair pose. Two more times, so we lower down, heels lift up, leaning back, knees come down. Good, lean back, knees lift up, heels down. And last one, lower down, knees come down. And we go back to chair pose, so lean back, lift up, chair pose. From chair pose, open the legs. <laughs> you can do explosive or one at a time, but it's always fun to explode them out. And exhale, we lower it out into squat. Okay, now, with your left knee, tap your right big toe. Two times, both sides. Switch back to the middle, other side. And down, switch. And down, one more time, switch. Good, and come back. All right, from there, as we inhale, we're gonna lift up the heels. We balance on the toes, arms are open. Now, maybe you stay balancing on the toes for a moment. It's always a good exercise. If you want a little bit of an extra challenge, start to lean a little bit over towards your left foot, find some balance, and then maybe lift up your right leg. <laughs> Just for a moment. <laughs> As I said, this is more of a challenge. <laughs> now, try the other side. So, over towards the right leg. See if you can lift up the left. Oh. <laughs> and you might fall down on your butt. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's more about just trying to have a little bit of fun with it. And then hands down. Inhale, step back. Downward facing dog. Oh, and it should feel nice. So oh, I always love coming into a down dog after all squat, all those squats. Ah, stretch out those legs. Move them around a little. And then we continue. Inhale, left leg up. And exhale, step it to the outside of the left hand. Place it down. Lizard pose. Right knee, maybe lifted, maybe down. Maybe on the hands, maybe on the forearms. I only take it as far as feels comfortable. So I have days where I just prefer to stay on the hands. It's a little bit better, it's a little bit less intense. Good. If you are on the forearms, come back onto the hands. Lift up your back knee. As you exhale, lower down your right ear, maybe all the way to the ground, maybe a little bit higher. Listen to the earth. Now inhale, push back up, pick up your left foot, swing it back, high plank with leg, left leg lifted. Exhale, chaturanga with leg lifted. Inhale, upward facing dog with leg lifted. Exhale, downward facing dog with leg lifted. That up dog is always super hard. <laughs> now, as you exhale, step that left foot forward next to the left thumb. Bring your right foot down. In, swing that right arm up and over, arriving in your warrior two. Good. Now, with warrior two, with a lot of standing postures, the distance between your feet kind of decides how intense it's going to be. If you need a little bit of a break, make the distance a little bit shorter. <laughs> if you want a little bit more of a challenge, make the distance longer. Make it harder for yourself. All right, as you exhale, left elbow onto the left knee. That right arm swings up and over, going into our extended side angle. Reaching that right hand further, keeping the chest open. So try not to have that right shoulder kind of dip forward. Keep it open, keep breathing. 
Uh, inhale, back to warrior two. And exhale, windmill the hands down next to the left foot. Inhale, left foot back. And then exhale, drop the elbows. We go into our dolphin pose. Tiptoe forward, focusing on getting those hips overhead. Now, when you reach your limit, the top, see if we can maybe lift up the elbows. Now you can do this, one at a time. Maybe you do it both at the same time. That's it, and then we softly lower back into dolphin. In up, lift up those elbows. Exhale, lower down. One more inhale, lift up the elbows. Exhale, lower them down. Bring the knees down. Take a child's pose. Couple deep breaths. In between, slowing it down. Now we're almost at the end of this 40 minute class. We'll just do one. I, I think it's a good drill, <laughs> but it can be a little bit horrible <laughs> if you've never done it before. So I apologize beforehand. So we come to our downward facing dog. Now we want to sit down on the mat. Now again, we can do this by walking forward and then sitting down, or maybe you do it with a little jump. So again, focus on getting the hips overhead, bend the knees, jump up, and land down on the mat. Very good. All right, now straighten those legs out in front of you. We sit up nice and straight. So starting first with Dandasana. So sitting straight, legs out in front, Chest open, shoulders back, hands next to your hips. Now, to feel a little bit more on the hamstrings, start to pull your toes towards your face. And that should kind of like fire up the whole back of your leg. So often you don't even need to go into your forward fold <laughs> to stretch out your hamstrings. All you need to do is bring the toes towards your face. All right, now. Point the toes forward. Now, keep your chest open, lean forward a little bit, and then place your fingertips down next to your knees. All right, now as we inhale, we're going to see if we can lift up the feet. Try to do it while leaning forward, and then bring them down. Good, now if that was really hard, you're gonna bring the fingertips a little bit closer towards your hips and use a little bit more leaning back to lift them up. If that was easy, bring the hands closer towards your heels. Make it a little bit harder. So we go again. So inhale, lift up the feet. And then see maybe if you can pulse up and down. Three, two, one, and bring them down. Good, so that might start to get, cause a little cramp here in the hip flexors. This is a really good exercise for your core, but also for the hip flexors right here, which you will use later on in tripod headstand, where you want to come up with straight legs. Do one more, and then we'll wrap it up. So point the toes, find your distance, and in it, lift up those feet. And we'll try five pulsations. So one, two, Three, four, five, and bring them down. Good. Shake out those legs a little. Feet down. And I just kind of wriggle them around like jello. All right, now pull the knees in and roll onto your back. And then strain out the legs. Arms next to your body. And we arrive in our Shavasana. So if you're joining for the posture breakdown in about five minutes, this is a little in-between Shavasana just to gather some energy. If this is the end of your class today, the end of your practice today, take a little bit longer. So just allow your body to relax. 
allowed to settle down in the mat. Now, if you do have the time to take a nice long Shavasana today, I would urge you to do so. If you need to get going or if you're joining in five minutes, as you exit your practice, try to just take a moment to reflect on your intention, the one that you set at the beginning. And always say thank you to that body of yours. Thank you for your strength, for your movements, for your courage, for coming onto your mat today to practice. And I want to thank everybody joining me today as well. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Namaste.